Welcome guys to another tutorial from helpvid.net Today we're going to be creating a file that can be downloaded So if you want to allow someone at your website to download a certain image or a certain file then this is a tutorial for you It's very easy and very simple to do So first thing we're going to do is come to our desktop and find whatever it is we want to make downloadable. So I'm just going to choose this image here, this Google Wave image. It can be anything guys, it can be a table, it can be a text document, it can be just basically anything. Um, a music file, a video file, a, we're just going to work with an image just now because I've got it floating about here. So the first thing we need to do is to create a folder. So we right click, come to new, and we create a new folder. We'll just call this download. Download zip. Then we want to get our image, drag it, drop it in the folder. Just check, make sure it's in there. There we go, Google Wave image. Now, as I said, you could drop anything in this folder, whether it be an image, whether it be a video, whether it be a music file. Right, so next we want to hold the cursor of our mouse over the folder, right click and send to a compressed zipped folder. Right, so you'll have your folder here and you'll have this little zipped folder here. Right, so we're going to take away this zipped folder. We're going to come over to Dreamweaver and we're going to drop it in our images folder. And there it is there. So, we'll come back to the desktop and we'll just get rid of this one here. Just drop it in the recycle bin. And we'll just drop that one in the recycle bin as well. So you can see there's no folder here. So, come over to Dreamweaver. And it really depends. You can create a button. You can create just a simple download the file here or whatever you want to put there, download the image or you can put a button or any type of text. You just basically highlight, highlight that text, grab your little pink pick whip, drag and just, oops, just get your pick whip, drag it and drop it, it doesn't seem to be working. Yeah it did. That's it, just drop it onto that zipped file and it will create a link. So now we come to preview this in the browser and this is what the actual visitor will see. Now this is actually forcing a download. So if somebody clicks on this, they're not going to get to see the image in their browser. This will actually force the download, which is good. Anybody with Windows um, will know uh, the procedure. So we just click on this and we just allow and as you can see I've done it several times there so I'm just going to open and there it is there it's opened up automatically in WinRAR, WinZip, whatever extract uh, software you use so I'm just going to go extract to extract to the desktop OK remember this is me in the browser this is like what a visitor will be doing and we'll close everything off and there they've downloaded the actual file. So we can extract here. Yes. It's just because I've already got that image there. So I'll go extract here. Yes to all. And there's your image been downloaded. So that's it, it's very easy, you just make a zipped folder and put that zipped folder in your images folder and you just basically link to it. Then when somebody clicks on this link it will force the download and they will receive the file that's in that folder. So thanks for watching, I hope, I hope this has helped you guys. Uh, please drop by the website helpvid.net and until the next tutorial, stay safe.